Hi, this is Ethan Musori, the Merchant of Success. Welcome to this video. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what should you do when you're working so hard and yet there is no breakthrough. This is one of the questions I received in regards to how can you make 2016 the best year ever. Uh, this is one of the episodes in the series, so I'm sure I, uh, hopefully you've been following the videos that I've been posting um, of late or it, you could be listening to an audio or reading text, whatever it is. So the, uh, what should you do? Because uh, I felt that was a rather brilliant question in that regard of what I was looking at. So here is what I think. One is it's good that you're working hard. That's always a great start. Uh, the, I have a good uh, coach of mine who was saying that one of the reasons why Israelites are very successful in business is that they take massive action, meaning they work hard. <laughs> they are smart, but they also work very hard. Um, so you have to put in the shift. So it's good that you're working hard. That's a great start. Number two, moving forward, you should ask yourself, working hard doing what? So as you work hard, you also have to reflect about what we call return on investment. What's the return on your energy? What's the return on your time? What's the return on your money? Because that's what it is. Uh, it's about your time, it's about your energy, it's about your, uh, your money. And I should also add your mind, your concentration, the cost on your emotions, on your mind. So what's the return on your emotional and mental investment? So you need to look at the big picture because you might find that the return is very low. So why do I love video? Because the return is very high. Well, this is what I mean. You're able to see me, you're able to hear me, you're able to get my words. The return is higher than just say text, for example. So for me, that's good. So why do I love speaking to bigger groups? Because the return is higher. I'm able to get more, uh, a bigger return on my time, on my energy, and sometimes, usually, on money also. So you have to be very reflective on what you're doing. It could be that you're working hard, but the returns are low because you have a wrong model, you have a wrong strategy. Just like me as a motivational speaker, uh, for example, just only looking for smaller audiences, then I could be, rather than, rather than, this is what I mean, rather than speak to 10 different audiences in a day of 10 people each, which is 100 people, you know, I would, it would take me close to 14 hours to be able to do that if, if I was speaking, let's say, for 30 minutes or 44 minutes and then I rush to another audience. It would take me many hours, at least, who knows? It could be 14, 15 hours. But instead, if I focused my mind and I looked for a bigger crowd of 100 people, then I just need to speak once. I reach out to 100 people. Ha! <laughs> Duh! See the math? So that's now not just working hard, but smart at the same time. And why not speak to even 200 people or 1,000 people? That's even better. So I hope you're getting some ideas, some hints on what I mean uh, when I talk about working not just hard, but smart at the same time. So that's what I would do. I wanted to reflect on the things that I'm, I was doing the previous year. Which ones have given me the biggest return on investment? Keep those. Which ones have given me the least amount of investment in terms of time, of energy, of money, of emotional and mental investment? Which ones are those? So the ones that gave you the returns, keep them. The ones which didn't, either eliminate them or change the model, change the strategy. It could be that uh, my coach was telling me that I should get a better laptop because then I would be more efficient, more productive. In other words, I would get more returns on my energy, on my time. You get, is, you get what I mean? So it's about you reflecting and changing and tweaking a couple of things because if you don't change, then you'll keep producing the same results. I hope that has been helpful to you and um, I would also encourage you to share your thoughts. What are your thoughts? How can we uh, advise this wonderful person who asked this powerful question? Uh, what do you think? 
uh, what should be done or shouldn't be done to make sure that not all such he or she can have breakthroughs even amidst working hard. So work hard but also remember smartness. When you combine working hard with smartness, then you truly get the breakthrough. And uh, recently, uh, just uh, something has popped up before I conclude. Uh, yesterday I was reading this book the, uh, by Tony Robbins called The Money Game. It's a big book. I've just started reading it. It's 600 pages. And there's this uh, billionaire, I think he's called Dalio. He's one of the, <laughs> he has a portfolio of 160 billion as we speak. And he's one of the smartest investors of all time. And uh, this is what, uh, I like the question I saw there. And the question was, what don't I know? So my friend, what don't you know that you need to know that would enable you to work smarter, not just harder, to go to have a breakthrough year, to where you can go to a much higher level. So that's the other question, that's the other tip for you. What don't you know that you need to know that if you knew would take you to a much higher level. All right, so share your comments below. And if you're watching this on YouTube, there should be uh, a subscribe button. I would encourage you to subscribe, like it, because when you like it, then uh, more people are able to access it. They are able to get some bigger visibility, and therefore, um, we are able to reach out to more people. So if you think this is useful, kindly help me share it, uh, like it, comment, um, so that more people can access this. Uh, if you want me to become your coach, or keynote speaker, or facilitator, or trainer. I look at different areas, whether it is leadership, or customer service, or personal development, public speaking, sales. I have a whole slew of uh, products and services. Then I would encourage you to contact me at uh, info. Uh, you can send me an email, info at ethanmussolini.com, or call me plus 256-772-936361, or plus 256-775-662298, and uh, then we can talk. Uh, let's chat to see how we can move forward together. You can also visit my websites, info, um, I beg your pardon. You can also visit my websites, ethanmussolini.com, or succeedingdaily.com. You can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Ethan Mussolini, or like my fan, Facebook fan page, which is facebook.com forward slash Ethan Mussolini. Uh, so, thank you for watching or listening or reading, whichever modality that you're using. May you work hard, but also work smart to make this year the best ever. I'll see you in the next episode.